let's kick off with SM Frame um, and your reaction to that um, 2020 net income down 53% year on year. But of course, we had expected that we knew the nine month figures here. Um, the, the bright spot here seems to be the residential business. So compared to the mall revenues, residential posted 6% up. What's, what's your take on this? Um, and, and did you expect this at all? Yes, um, no surprise. Um... The, the the mall operators anyway in the Philippines carried the load, right? Uh, they didn't they didn't charge uh, their tenants. They didn't get any support, uh, and um, I think that that that's taken already. Uh, investors that uh, in a way uh, understand. Let's just say maybe appreciate it. Uh, foot traffic is improving. We, I was with SM seniors uh, last week in another call. Uh, they're they're positive about that. So I guess as we see more people going out anyway, and we're seeing that the foot traffic is improving, uh, sales are improving. Uh, so the commercial side will, will support the residential development side. So so we're positive at least this year there'll be a pickup. What's your general outlook um, in terms of retail spaces, um, especially since you know there have been a lot of closures. So it's not necessarily just related to foot traffic but a fundamental shift in consumer behavior. So people are having deliveries, food deliveries, getting used to this lifestyle, uh, e-commerce is changing. Why do you think that that will be picking up to pre-pandemic levels? Yeah, no, it, it will really be a challenge to bring it back to pre-pandemic, admittedly. Uh, there are still a lot of tenants, or a lot of tenants have actually not opened up to now. So you, you see... In all, all in, in, in all formats and all malls, no, not just uh, SM, even the Ayala malls and Robinson malls. Uh, it's really the challenge because uh, they're not able to cover their overheads, so they're better. Off. They, they, I guess the old uh, tenants decide to keep it closed. But uh, admittedly, logistics is the key. Uh, online is improving, but still not that big anyway. And they'll still need uh, they still need to go and check out the clothes and etc. So you'll still need that. Um, I, I I do agree that some of the malls are gonna. I guess re rebuild their business model. They might convert some of their spaces to other things. In the past, it was shifting to food, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Now it might be shifting to some kind of offices or whatever, as long as they can generate the revenues. But I think I don't. I hope that it won't be empty for long, uh, and then that it will just be a, a, a shift in the mix of the composition of the revenues. But I guess our mall operators are resilient, and uh, people will continue to order and need to fulfill their their wishes and need to go out. 